I made a terrible mistake. Here is my pet wasp colony that I house in a picture frame. All was going well until they flooded into my bedroom. In this video, we are going to dive into it all, from their secretive lives to their masterful escape. I am going to reveal to you some of the most amazing and terrifying parts of their lives. I have tried keeping a hornet and wasp colony in the past. The idea of keeping a wasp colony is extreme and even a little absurd, but I didn't let that stop me. So without further ado, let's begin. The colony lives on a wall in my bedroom. To me, it is a lot like a piece of art, only instead of a painting, it is a bundle of anxiety. Their nest is glued to the back wall of the frame. It grows in size every day. They use pieces of wood and cardboard to build their nest. It is the heart of the colony, and it is their dormitory, hospital, and kitchen. But most of all, it is a daycare center. Their nest is full of eggs, larvae, and pupa. The parents have to work their entire lives just to raise the next generation. Now, this is by no means an easy ordeal. The larvae are always hungry. Here, I'm feeding the nest a cricket. The adults need to chop it up into more manageable portions. They will work together and split up the work between themselves. Using their powerful mandibles, they turn the cricket into a paste. Now, every once in a while, I'll feed the colony some honey. I usually feed them out of a bottle cap, but let's change things up a little. Here is a plastic hand and I'm now smothering it. I put it into the nest and they immediately gathered around. They crowded in excitement. It didn't take long before the hand was engulfed. They were all over it in hopes of a quick meal. This one is drinking some honey that dripped on the glass. Their mouth is terrifying, but nothing compared to their stinger. Their stinger is fully retractable, and unlike a bee, they can sting over and over again. An allergic reaction can cause anaphylaxis shock and lead to death. They can be extremely dangerous, and if you get swarmed, it usually concludes in a trip to the hospital. This is why I need to be so careful about what I do next. After watching how they reacted to the plastic hand, I decided to try my own. Great idea, I know. I squeezed some honey onto my fingertip. Will they sting me if I put it in the nest? Well, let's find out. It looks like my prayers worked because I didn't get attacked. They were gentle and only interested in a meal. All this eating tends to get the glass pretty dirty. Like my mother-in-law, cleaning the glass is something you want to avoid entirely. So every few days, I'll take them off my wall to clean the frame. I use a cotton ball attached to a skewer to wipe everything down. Occasionally one will fly out. If there is ever an escapee, I'll usually chase it around my room until I can get it back in the frame. This is nothing compared to what happens later in the video. Now, an escaped wasp is kind of helpless. A wasp will die without her colony. She can't eat solid food like you or me. Her waist is so narrow that solid food won't fit through. She can only drink liquids. Now, the larva will make an energy-rich liquid that nourishes the whole colony. They are a lot like vending machines. Without the larva, the colony would starve. I know this all sounds pretty gross, but they're in fact very clean animals. A lot like a cat or a dog, they groom themselves. They do this around the clock to prevent the spread of germs. Because they are always near each other, they need to stay hygienic. For example, they all huddle together at night. If one got sick, chances are the rest of them would too. Alright, anyway, back to the topic of food. They are like a butchery. All of these crickets are doomed, and soon, they'll become breakfast, lunch, and dinner. As the grubs eat more and more, they'll rapidly grow in size. 
once they reach a certain age, they prepare to transform. They begin by weaving a protective cocoon. After a few hours, they are encased by a white cap. These white caps can be seen throughout the nest. Here, a wasp chews his way out of the cocoon. This one is a male. The only thing he does in life is mate. He doesn't help with feeding or hunting duties and just kind of hangs around. I envy him. On the other hand, this is the queen. Her majesty is the mother to every single wasp in the nest. She founded the colony on her own and it has become an empire. As with any empire, they need to grow. They decided to expand into my bedroom because one day, I made a mistake. While charging the light, I forgot to close off the hole, so over the course of an hour, they flooded into my bedroom. My biggest fear came true. I found a wasp on my pillow, on a window, on a tank. They were everywhere. As if they weren't diabolical enough, this one found it funny to take over the globe. It was completely surreal. Oh, and there she goes. Great. So, now I have quite the problem on my hands. Literally, it was my responsibility to catch them all. So, one by one, I carefully picked them up. I had to be awfully delicate or else they would sting me. The nest had grown far larger than I ever could have anticipated. It was beginning to generate new kings and new queens. In the wild, they would start colonies of their own the following year. In order to give back to nature, I thought it was right to release them. I walked deep into a local forest and let them back into the wild. 